I showed some Sucker Express last time. Uh, now I've played it, I want to just talk a bit about um, what I thought about it. So here's the entire map. Um, I haven't actually... Um, I have done some of all the better levels, but there have been some changes to some of these levels. Um, so as a result, they've they've um, been unfinished. <laughs> so generally, Sokoban Express I find is quite hard. There are some people on Steam who would refute that it's hard. I said, "Oh, it's not too difficult." I've seen some of those reviews, and I and if you wrote those reviews, I don't like you. <laughs> That's not true. I have to say, I have to say, it was just a joke. Um, but generally, you know, it, it, the mechanics are, are pretty much what I expected. I really enjoyed, you know, trying to figure out, you know, the tools. I think a lot of these puzzle games come down to, you know, how well you can develop tools in your head to um, you know, turn um, the rules into something that you can work with. So, um, for example, one of the issues is trying to figure out the sequence. Um, like, for example, if um, you've got oxygen and hydrogen, uh, two oxygens and a hydrogen, right? If you start off with the oxygen and you move to the other oxygen, they both got two bonds free. They'll link together and that's the end of it, end of the level. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to reach the hydrogen because there's no bonds left over. Like, look at this here. Let's reset this. So, you know, this will connect here, leaves two, it leaves two out, and then it takes out two, and that's perfect for you just to leave the level, if, if, if I can actually get around here. Uh, soccer bond detected, so there's no room. Um, so, there's a lot of problems with sequencing on, on some of the levels when you start getting into more complicated levels, and you have to start figuring out which atom goes first. And you know, the, the first protocol is saying, wait, what do I need to do in what order? Because I initially was just doing things randomly. You know, like if I if you try and do this one, this order, that does work. And this is actually one of these levels which which works in two different ways. You actually use a ball of bonds both ways you do this. Um, but then you've got, come on, pick another one, something messy. Oh, so you find that when you're doing, um, you're always looking at the difference, you know, so you've got your, um, you're going to link two atoms together, right? You're always looking at your, your difference of the number of bonds. If it's equal, you're screwed. <laughs> so a two goes to two and there'll be nothing left over. So you're always thinking about the difference. So two to three, okay, yeah, that's going to be um, oxygen to nitrogen. That leaves you with one. And I can't link to a hydrogen yet because that'll end me. I'll need to link to something at a two or a three. And you're constantly doing this kind of difference checking when you're trying to figure out the sequence. And that's perfect, except when you get um, some of the later levels where you've got the ions and you have to pick up the uh, extra ions. Um, Another example of that. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking at my list here. I can't. I was looking at one earlier. Is it Omega C5? No, it's not that one. Figure. <laughs> um, when you have to pick up the. Um, the ions. It changes state of the. Um, go back to levels. It changes the state. You know, in this, in my head, you're constantly thinking, "What's the next atom that's coming?" So you go from three, two, one, trying to figure out the number of bonds left over each time. Um, but when you've got ions, it means one of those atoms will will not be what they are now. They'll be different later. Um, and I got a, there's a row, f a row four. Yeah, so you got this one, for example. Um, this carbon up here, it's got three bonds on it, right? Three, uh, um, it wants to make three bonds with something else. And, but in reality, it needs, it's going to have four at some point. So are you going to take that three, do all your stuff, and then pick up this extra 
electron and and finish it um, or you know sometimes you need to get that bond in early other times you need to do it late um, uh, sorry no I haven't talked about the uh, the look yet I was gonna um, talk about that um, and you know so this level you have to look at like well what happens if I if I sequence it so you might be thinking about doing the carbon here and then somehow getting it um, there you go I pick up the the extra electron it needs and I can start linking here but you can already see I get a bit of a problem there I need to have that joined like that can't quite make that hydrogen work but would it work let's think about the sequencing so we you got a two connecting to this um, three so you got one left over and if I linked to the hydrogen that's actually the end of the level because I've got no free bonds so you can't do it that way <laughs> right so so all right so what I'm gonna do what he would do here like you look at doing it this way right so if I do up here we've got three bonds left over uh, sorry, one bond left over. This has got two. It connects with this, you know, um, with this carbon, and you're going to have one bond left over. And if you connect to this one over here, sorry, I've got to come from underneath. Then you've got um, two left over. I still got this positive one to do. Then I hit this oxygen. Then I come around here and I pick this other one up and I've got one left. And it's always about this. The thing is, you're always thinking about what you've got bonds you've got left over as you're making your route around. And when you have these little electrons that need to be added, they kind of screw with that process because you can't just go three, one, two, three, one. Because when you're picking up the, the electron, you have to figure that into your, into your calculations. And then there are going to be levels where actually it makes sense to partially link certain things and not fully link them and it gets it gets really quite quite complicated in some of the later levels now uh, the look when I, was, uh, I do quite like the look of it um, no we were saying it looked a bit dry I actually quite liked it um, it's very clean and I think it allows me to focus very easily on you know what I'm what's actually on the grid and the, um, so I, I'd actually quite like the look uh, it also manages to evoke the original soccer bond quite well um, and I think also this it shows you the, the molecule ghost as you're as you're as you're plotting around so you can see what's going to happen and i think this game on the on the later levels would be if not impossible very frustrating without it i mean some of the later levels particularly where you have to start doing synchronization um you really really need to see what's going to happen uh, otherwise you'd be redoing and redoing and redoing um most annoying things <laughs> um first thing is this i it's just awkward to go back to the levels i'm always like oh where's how do i get back onto i just want to press escape to go back onto the um onto the map and it doesn't and the same thing if you want to get out of the game there's no exit and it makes me stop for a second it's not the end of the world but the number of times i've paused for a moment as my brain tries to process after doing all these molecular bonds where is the exit <laughs> the hardest puzzle of all um so to exit you actually have to go to levels and then go to main menu it's just unusual to have to have to try so hard to get to get out um wow um you have to think a lot about the end states um um uh, Crowley Sun says had that problem too, and Orion says World of Place had this hidden, hidden exit too. I think someone complained about it in Steam forums, but I think it's not something they can easily quickly fix, or I don't think that's going to go in. Uh, Alt F4 does work. <laughs> um, so the. Um, what else we got? The, oh, the other thing. There's one more annoying thing. 
uh, it has a giant boss level and I really decided as my years have gone on that I don't like big huge levels generally and when I see a boss level which is really big I don't really like it so the last level I did do it I mean I, I got there um, but it was just I saw it and I was like Ah, you know. <laughs> but generally most of the levels are uh, don't did, didn't give me that feeling i mean and even something like this i mean you see something like this and it looked pretty obnoxious um but it's kind of small and chunky you know that that you can't do too much with your root um oriana's asking is it as dreadful as nova 7 no i did wonder if it was going to be like nova 7 of cosmic express which is a pretty brutal level um it is not i was able to work through it um i tell you what uh, i tell you a funny one though um let's go back to have a look at uh, omega c5 this this level was i left this almost to the very end i was like i couldn't believe how simple it was it looks so simple and it's so hard and that's because of the end state problem one of the things uh, one of the things you have to think about when you're solving these levels is um, the end state now you can't end up this is fine you can't end up with you know the molecules outside that's one thing you have to worry about but on these with two lanes there's an issue where they connect you're making two water molecules here right you got h2o on both sides but when you put them together they collide and i looked at this for ages and i could not figure this out i couldn't even figure out the end state i'm like what what are my molecules going to look like how, how do i make them look how do i rearrange them you know i couldn't even let's move these back like i was like um okay so i get the oxygen here but then i can't actually connect it oh i could connect it to the side but then that I can't connect the oxygen to the hydrogen on the right because it's going to be off. And oh my god, I was like, I could not figure out for ages how this was supposed to look. Did I need the hydrogen to take, you know, did I need to steal both um, oxygens or something and like that? And I tried so many things, I could not see it. And then it's like at one point it just clicked like, oh, that's it. That's the molecule. That's the that's the shape. That's how I make it. Um, and I was really staggered at how simple this level looks and the solution is is not not very simple at all um, well it's not as simple as you think it should be but I really love that level um, do h2 yeah uh, I you can you could do h2 but the problem is you've got to you've got to like pick up the um, you got to try and pick up the two oxygens before the other one and that's going to be one of these you see they they're moving at the same time and so i talk about the synchronization puzzles <laughs> and it, it'll beat it and force you beat it you got to so anyway i'm not going to i'm not going to solve that now um the other thing i so as um Crowley Sun has said in the comments the light bulb hint is a huge difficulty decrease now there were two puzzles I finished everything but there were two puzzles I couldn't do they were uh, let's I'll just show you them the ones I had the most problem with Pi six um, I couldn't solve this uh, there's this problem here so you've got to figure out like I've got this oxygen. I can link to this oxygen. I obviously have to come around here to get this uh, sorted here. And then you've got this lovely little star thing, which allows you to do rotation. We could rotate your molecule for you. You can see like the, the back end of my molecule. I move up and it gets switched around there. But the... Um, and I usually see rotation as a very positive thing. The rotation isn't uh, using an obstacle, it's more something to fix your solution. It's always a, a fixer. Positive thinking, everybody, positive thinking. But I could not get the rotation I needed. 
everything was more or less in place if I could just get the molecule rotated around the right way and a rotation I couldn't get it to work. And I tried again and again. I, I just could not figure this out. I tried so many uh, convolutions of this. And eventually I used, like, am I... Am I getting the wrong shape for the molecule? And I clicked on the light bulb, and the light bulb basically it shows you the, the molecule you're trying to make. So it really um, manages to uh, make it easier for you to get through that. You know at least what you're aiming for. And it didn't help. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to make that molecule. There's no... That's kind of like one of my earlier ideas, but it didn't come together, you know? And, and I realized that you had to really do a funky thing around the crossroads, which I did not expect. Um, so I don't think I was going to get that one. The uh, the other one I couldn't get was New 5, which looks like the kind of thing I would have easily kind of figured out, but this is kind of horrible. Um, there's a couple of problems here. Um, if you go through this, you get these things getting like one bond each, and it would seem to make sense. It'd be great. Uh, you go here, and these link up, and you've got one bond left in the middle. Perfect, to put a hydrogen in. But you know what? The hydrogen is in the corner on the top left. Uh, you know. Great, I can do that. But then you can't escape. You've trapped yourself. Just doing this, going through, following that, coming around and getting an AH like that. You're trapped, and it just—it just wasn't working out. I could not see how to do it, and uh, I was like, "Oh well, do I need to calm down?" Because if I touch one of these nitrogens by accident, because they got the same, because it's two nitrogens, it's deadly. It's the end of your route. And I was like, "Oh, is it down? Like, get one of the oxygens and flap around here a little bit?" No. And eventually I did do the, the hint and it did help. And I don't think I would have solved it. It, it was just a little bit, um, it showed up that I was missing. A, I didn't try a certain combination. Um, um, I tried every other combination, but I just didn't see this one. Um, and I'm like, ah, uh, I think I, maybe if I'd left it for three months to come back and re, you know, reset my mind completely, but I completely blocked it out. Um, Orianne says there's been a lot of talk about the hint system for kind of wormholes. Yes, I know the um, where it sort of gives you a little a smaller puzzle to try and play around with a with a with a, a smaller version of the puzzle, right? Um, but that's going to be a lot of work for anybody who does that. I can understand why not everybody would do it. Um, but I did have a number of levels where I felt like I was just short of a tool. And I just couldn't figure out what's the trick here to decompose the level into something I can understand. Um, and that it, it, it got progressively, you know, it got quite hard, some of these other levels. Um, but I think in the end, you know, I did have a great time. I played right through the whole thing, you know, I just I, I did just get through it. Some some just dropped out fairly fast, but you know, as it got closer to the end, it was getting more and more, I was, I was grinding against the puzzles. So there's some really hard puzzles in there. Um, and some of it uh, was a little bit, a bit of a leap for me, I think in some cases, um, where I, I I was almost brute forcing a bit. I, I don't like to do that, uh, but I don't know if I've missed some some cool tricks there to do with uh, some cool tools I should have, I should have um, figured out. The the one thing I have to tell you, this is my favorite moment of all. Um, it was New Six. And there's this carbon up here. And it's just outside the grid. And you can sort of, I could sort of figure out how I was going to kind of grab it. And it was going to make, um, it would, it would make a wonderful little solution you know um because it was sort of reaching out like 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 pincers and grabbing the the carbon in it and i couldn't make it work and i thought have i got the wrong solution here and then finally um i got i got the pincers and reached up and grabbed it and it was just like a joyous moment it was a fantastic moment um 
and I took a screenshot of it and I'm, maybe I'm going to put that on the wall you know <laughs> it's, it's that, it was that kind of moment that was my favourite moment of the entire game that puzzle it was just so effort well it wasn't effortless it was effortful effortfully beautiful um, and that's basically the kind of thing I play for you know when you feel like that is that's good I was I was trying to get that and I found it um, so uh, Okay, Orianne's saying, going to write down some thoughts on hints. At this point, I'm not sure any hint system interests me. I don't like using hints. I feel like I've failed solving the puzzle, if you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm a terrible one. I only use those hints. And it did make me feel like I'd, I'd given up. I'd failed on those puzzles. Uh, GM Rubrics, Rubrik says, the game is really, really good. And I love it. And I remember this le puzzle, this level. Yeah. Um, pink worms. That's what I see on this level. Uh, why can say I'm not sure this is for me? <laughs> I mean, you can play the first few levels and it can feel kind of like, oh, this is quite cool. And then they start adding in all the other stuff and it's like, oh my God. I do love the, how helpful though these um, the little indicators are, you know, the, the X saying that you've had a collision. Um, and there's even markers for when the rotations are happening. Um, but yeah, they've done a great, I think they've done a great job in it. Um, and it, it's 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 good, but it's it's it is tough. I think I feel like it is tough. I don't think it's unfair to say it's a tough game. Um, it may be shorter than some might expect. If you were used to Cosmic Express, which seemed to like go on forever, and there doesn't seem to be like um, an extra layer to the game where there's like a more secret optional stuff you can do. I mean, the, the optional stuff is the fact that you don't have to do all the levels to to get to the end of the game. But of course, you know, you've got to do all of them, right? You got it. Um, yeah, that's Cosmic Express. Um, hard, um, very good, uh, very friendly game in some ways, uh, in terms of its uh, interface. And thank goodness there's a dark mode. So I'll drop the, 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 the link for you in the chat, as I normally do, even though I've done this before. And um, we will probably leave it there for today. So that was Soccerborn Express.